Dude, I can smell that from here. I can too, actually. Never is it smelly? It. Not that bad. Who the hell is Chris Morales? Dude. Hmm. What do I need have to do to win? Oh my god. We're live, by the way. Hi! Is it smelly? You like... <laughs> what are you, checking your messages, Mark? Yes. Hmm. Hold I, on. Uh... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink some coffee. Hold on. Truck and just said, don't forget, we're doing a giveaway for a $100 gift card tonight. Thanks to Vaping Trucker. Is yes, that what it hit is? That, hit that com. $100 gift card. Wow. Tonight on the Vape Team. Stay tuned. The giveaways don't stop. Hmm. Vaping Trucker. Well, since we didn't have a show last week, why don't we s skip the 20-minute uh, the intro and just start the show? That sounds like a damn good idea. You look antsy, Mark. Are you making me uncomfortable? I am antsy. I had a few uh, drips of CBD, and I'm ready to fucking rock. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Does CBD give you a hard-on? No, but it makes things more enjoyable. Do, do you get more pleasure in your nether regions? Yeah. That's good. Does it make you last longer? No. No. I think about my dad in order for me to last longer. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think about my grandma. But it's so fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel like she's in heaven judging me. I can last for hours. Yeah. You can't last for hours. That's such a lot of crack of shit. But then again, if you're fucking somebody like me, you want me to be pretty quick, so... Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to spend, like, a long, long extended stay with you in the bedroom. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Felicia! All right, here we go. Let's start the show after Mike kicks that person. Wonderful. That's the dude that's been begging me for fucking free vape gear constantly from Greece. Yep. He's fucking tired of it, pal. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Mm. All right. 20 minute intro begins now. <laughs> Motherfuckers, yeah, 120 deuce, 122 episodes, welcome back. We had a missing show last week, and I'm sorry that Mark didn't jump in to be the leader that he we expect of him. Uh, yeah, the vape team was canceled last week. Mike and I were in Miami, long strolls on the beach, sharing ice cream cones, and uh, it was very lovely. And speaking of Mike... He's with us tonight. The Iron Lung, Mr. Machu Machi, the Greek god of vaping, Mount Olympus. <laughs> the, man, the man without a care, Mike Vapes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. And I would also like to bring to everyone's attention the man with the different hat. <laughs> Mr. Just Say Whatever the Fuck You Feel, the Hot Pocket King. Mr. Squeaky Chair, the OG screen behind him, which he's proven time and again. Hell yeah, son. The originator of having a guitar that you'd ever play on the wall. <laughs> Mark <laughs> Vapid Vegan. Hi. Hi. Mama. Yeah, so we're not going to bullshit you guys. Uh, this week is going to be a smorgasbord of vaping excellence. We have so much shit planned for tonight. Uh, we're excited to be back. We have giveaways galore. We have hot topics to talk about. We're going to disrobe Mark a little bit. And mm. uh, we're also going to share about what we're vaping on. So why don't we start off with that? I think it's time. Yeah. For all you can vape off A time. 
So, Mark, why don't you lead us off with a little bit of that? Okay. What do we got here? We got the Sub-Zero. Down. X, right? Yeah, X. Do, 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 do. Matching RDA. Do, 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 do. Got the, uh, what else we got? Uh, we got the Smoant, the Sharon TS touchscreen with the uh, UL Valerian on top of there. We got the, I can never pronounce what the hell box this is, but we got that squawk box there with the Mr. Monkey Vapes icon on top. Then we got the Boxer Ooh. X700 with the Mesh RDA. Juice, oh, God, I don't even know what juice I'm using. Where's that? I got some of the <clears throat> exclusive reserve from Camelot Distribution. I got some of this in today. Thank you very much to Mr. Jim. I got some of the blue pucker or the sour pucker or whatever the one is from Mr. Tony B. Mother pucker. Well, it Mother says blue pucker. pucker in, like, big letters in the front. Blue pucker. There we go. I think it's called Mother yeah. Pucker. Some hometown custard from hometown vapor, and I think that is it. Yes, that's it. Take it away there, Mr. B R I A N. Speaking B of B R I A N, go ahead, Mark. I was gonna do a little do an cheer. intro. Go ahead. I'm done. You killed it. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's I... we'll try it again next week. You're a huge Taylor Swift fan, so I can understand why you do that. Nickelback and Taylor Swift on tour together. Mark's in the front row every single time. I don't do country music, thank you. All right, so what am I vaping on? Um, the first thing I'm vaping on is this slightly feminine but very awesome boxer. Mike, you're going to have to help me with the name here. 2X700 DNA75. Boom. C. I love this. It's got yeah. like the pleasure point right in the middle that you can just play with. But then you have the up and down buttons still the same. Yeah, I love the size of it too. It's perfect for my hands. So I got this. This is from the expo, and let's we'll talk about a little little Miami action during the show tonight. Mm -hmm. um, also sipping on a authentic Yeti uh, container of coffee here. This is Starbucks Sumatra for my Keurig. No, Mark, don't, just sit back, please, little boy. Is that Silver Keith? This is the bill. This <laughs> is the big one, man. It's not the. That's Silver Sam. That's Billet Keith. It's the Walmart version, but still. I got to tell you, I went to Five Below the other day, and uh, I got a Five Below version of the Eddie. Oh, God. It's horrible, dude. It had, like, fucking bacon grease in it, like, when I bought it. It was... <laughs> Plastic? It, yeah. It was pretty bad. Um, what else am I vaping on? The This is uh, the Ronnie Geddon right here. Did it come with sunglasses? This is from Omageddon. This is the Omageddon. Uh, what the fuck is the name of this thing? Armageddon. That's the cheetah? Armageddon. Oh, the, the Rapture. This is the Rapture from Armageddon. Yeah. This was actually requested best RDA of 2017 by <laughs> Ronnie Cash Vapes. So I had to pick it up because when he says it's the best, uh, that's what I'm vaping on tonight. I'm also vaping on the US-1 by Trinity Glass. Uh, let's see. What else am I vaping on? Uh, oh, this is a setup that was used by my wife on Mark's show on Sunday night. I'd like to thank Mark for throwing me under the bus multiple times for also That's taking true. care of my lady friend, Mrs. That's Amy well. Herb. Uh, this is the Valerian or Valerian from UL, which I agree with Mark and Mike. I think this is a, an amazing sub ohm tank. Yeah. I just put that in Mike's mouth. <laughs> I haven't even tried the tank yet. Though, you know? <laughs> exactly. Mike loves it. That's all I'm going to say. Mike's been sitting in the. I haven't tried it yet. Yes. You haven't tried them yet? Holy shit. Nope. They're awesome. Uh, yeah, so as far as sub tanks go, it's a, it's a winner. Um, also vaping on, I don't know. I've got some custard, some strawberry custard from Hometown Vapor, which I think is tasty as hell. Loving this stuff. Very There's delicious. Sweet. On the bottle, right? There's not a seal on the bottle, you oh. fuck. <laughs> Don't try to set me up. Why do you do that? Making sure you're paying attention. You never pay attention. Do you vape the wrong RTA on a show and called it something else? So I don't know what you're even talking about. Uh, it is true. Uh, very 
I think that you get more upset and triggered when, when other people fall short because you see yourself. It's like a reflection. You're looking at yourself. <laughs> that looks like it's a little... But whatever. Anyway, I'm, I'm vaping on some Drip Witch. I picked this up in Miami. Love me some Drip Witch. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the strawberry. Delicious. Um, what else am I vaping on? A uh, little Wismac action. This is the RX23. I love this. The only thing is if I go over 90 watts, it gets hot. The actual mod itself gets warm. So, mm -hmm. But uh, around 90 watts, this thing's an all-day banger, and it's super small, compact, and it's a win. So I'm enjoying that with the Reload RTA. Yeah. Look at Michael Vapes right there. <laughs> Miguel, muchos grande vapos. Mato loco. Yeah. Mato loco. So that is all I'm vaping on tonight. I still haven't gone through my room to check to see what's missing after the vape expo that Amy sold my shit. So I'll be doing that. Uh, you got to love a, a woman that will kick you when you're down. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So she's beautiful, and uh, I suffer because of it. So, Michael Vapes, time is yours. All righty, let's see. Oh, squeaky chair going on here. Uh, like I showed before, most of vaping on the Wismic uh, Gen 3. With the, as usual, the OBS engine, RTA. In there, I have some Joe motherfucking Turner Royal Vape products.com raspberry custard and uh those people in the uk looking to get some cornbread pudding or some hit that juice go on joe turner's website royal vape products.com he just picked them up and he's got coil allergy coils on his site in the uk so for the uk peeps there you go next 2x 700 boxer deep pro rda and i got a very special battery sitting inside here which i don't not gonna talk about during the show and and here i am vaping on some where are you coil spill there you are some rkoi coil spill and uh actually got it in here I'm enjoying using this thing for filling very convenient so vaping on that also vaping on the pro color with the bellis version 2 rta in there, I am vaping on some looking glass, kaleidoscopic clouds, looking glass. Vaping on that. Also vaping on Armageddon Squonker. And I got the Apocalypse RDA on there. Beautiful Half Moon Mod drip tip. Yes, matchy, match it. Uh, in here, we have Blue Pucker. Got Tony's juice. Blue Pucker. Some Blue Pucker inside there. I like this juice. Good stuff. Good yeah, stuff, Tony. Loving it. Vaping on that. And I'm also vaping on the Sharon with the Mesh RTA in temp control. Yes, I am. And I got blue pucker in here, too. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Get off your phone, Brian. I'm not on my phone. I'm tightening down this you. as I'm sitting here. I was hoping there'd be more trolls in chat tonight because I really like to feel better than them, but whatever. Um, it's not. It's not hard. I know who you are, motherfuckers. Especially with Mark on here, he attracts the winners. Look at him. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna talk a little bit to start off the show tonight about the uh, the RDTA craze. Um, oh. Mike was sitting here saying before the show started that he has like five RDTAs just sitting here and they just don't stop. And Mark is like, another RDTA? And I'm, I'm so thinking, tired. I didn't like RDTAs when they were new. I didn't. That's why I'm so tired of them. Uh -huh. like, they're not, they're, the companies are putting them out and they're, they're the same thing. They're putting out the same damn thing. So I figured maybe we would spend a little bit of time tonight because these came in the mail today. We'll do a first look. Uh, Geek Vape. This is the Peerless because I really like the Peerless, Peerless RDA. Mm -hmm. So I figured we'd take some time and just maybe have Mark look at Mark. He's already on. T I, I, Mike, what, how does he know? His I timing mean, is impeccable. He is on point when it comes to that shit. Yeah. But I like the looks of the RDTA though. Looks nice. Doesn't it doesn't look boring. It just looks classy. Right, Mark? Ooh. 
Mark, Ooh. why don't you give us a play-by-play -play of what you're actually doing? Do you even know what that is? That is called a build deck. That's the peerless build deck. And I have it on manual. Should put it on auto. There we go. Mark, show them the fill port. The fill port that took me forever to figure out. Well, actually, I didn't figure it out. You figured it out. I'm sorry. Oh, um, the other side, Mark. The other side. Is it on the other side? No, no. no the Not where you put Yeah, right there. there Hold on. There you go. Yeah, earlier, I was trying to push these little slots closed. But Mike was like, no, just pull this out. Pretty genius. But what if you got dual coils going on? How do you... How do it's on an that? angle, isn't it? Kind of. Um, you can see it. It's kind yeah. of... Well, the real question is, where does the airflow come in? Because that'll decide how high the coils are going to be. Right. So the airflow... So you figure your coils has to be level with the top of the build deck. Mm -hmm. So you'll have room to get in there. We'll, we'll see. We got to build it and vape it and yeah. see how it is to fill it. Okay. But it seems like uh, with Geek Vape, I've noticed that all the RDTAs, it's always a complicated fill method. Do you think they nailed it this time? We'll see. I don't know. There was one that had like a spring sort of thing. Actually, Mike, you showed that beautiful one from the other reviewer. Yeah, that I have thing it is, right. That's the sexiest one, in my opinion, of all of them. Yeah, the Deja Vu RDTA is freaking awesome RDTA. How is that thing for filling? Super simple. Just right down the center. That system is awesome. I mean, it's not the first one to do it. I think uh, who had that system? The Alpine RDTA, I think, had that system. But uh, that's probably one of my favorite RDTAs, the Deja Vu. Yeah. There's a lot of them that's been coming out. There's a whole bunch. I have, uh, I know, I think you guys got them too. I don't know about you, Brian. I don't know if Mark has it. The Coil Master 1. Yeah, that's in my office. Yes. Yeah, so we all got the Genesis. Genesis yeah. Yeah. This is probably going to be, a, I don't know if it's going to be a disappointment, but this is like the most plain Jane one I think there is, unless they changed it from the one they sent. Yeah, they did change it a little bit, I think. Is it spiced up a little bit? No, it's not. It's like the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that a thousand times. Oh, I so. think the reason they misspelled something at the on the bottom, that's why they had to redo them. Yeah. Yeah, that Deja Vu is just a whole other level of sexy. Yeah. It only fits uh, two miles of liquid. And, uh, yeah, the Mad Hat RDTA. That's right, JJ. That was the other one. Uh, you do fill it a lot. I go through liquid very quick. Yeah. But uh, I don't really mind it because I love the look of it, the shortness, the, the profile of the tank, you know. So I don't mind. But uh, what other ones? I got this other one. I mean, I don't know if I want to show this one. I mean, I'll show it sideways, and a lot of people understand what this is. I won't show what it actually is. But uh, they changed their RDTA, too. And uh, I got it here. Let me take it out of the box. And they're calling it the Skelly. So basically, it's a face of a skeleton on there, and the airflow is in the eyes and the mouth mm. of it. So we got another RDTA here. Uh, build deck on this one. You know what? I don't even remember what the build deck was on this. Let me open it. Uh, it's, uh, as you can see there, looks like... Uh, Velocity posts are closed off in the center, mm. and there's your fill. Yeah, I like those center fill ports. So you got a center fill on that. So yeah, I, I like the center fills and stuff like this. The RDTAs. Yeah. Ooh. We got the Skelly over here. I'll be reviewing soon. So I, I got three, three RDTAs here. The, the way that I've enjoyed RDTAs the most is using them. As long as they have that bottom pin for squonking, I don't mind having two mils. Like a big squonk bottle inside a squonking device with like that holds maybe seven mils, that'll give me three refills on my RDTA, and then it starts to make more sense. But if yeah, I have trying, to try to find the Gaia, the Gaia by the Gaia Christmas. was perfect that way. The Gaia, the pin dad was another one, was RDTAs that had a squonk pin. Yep. I, I'm shocked that. Nobody else is doing it. Since the guy, I haven't seen anybody else do it. It, it makes, makes perfect sense. That's I told uh, I, I, in a review. I said it for this one. Yep. 
it would have been perfect. This because it's so it looks so nice on Squonkers. Yep. He told me that he's gonna make a squonking pin for it. So he said as soon as he makes it, he's gonna send it to me. Yeah. I mean, if he makes that, I'll be rocking out on a squonker constantly. Yep. Because I think it's better than just the squonking RDA by itself, because it gives you the more more juice capacity with between drips. Yeah. Assuming the airflow is good. Thank Airf- you, Mark. Yeah, it's well, awesome. I awesome. love when you add things to the conversation. What do you mean? Well, you don't want to hold it in. You might get a bellyache. So there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of RDTAs out there. I think there's more RDTAs than RTAs. Yeah, dude, the RDTA game is, is overwhelming how many there are. But it's amazing how many of them fuck up filling. You know? I kind of like the old, like, uh, middle, sort of like the OBS Creus, like when you pulled up the side and yeah. you would just turn it and just pour right in the side. I like yeah. that. That's the way the iDroid one is, too. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. I like the center the center post and how they started doing it with the very center. Yeah. I like that. That's the most convenient, I think. I think I like it that way better, too, because when you fill from the side and you put the top your cap back on, sometimes you get the liquid that's around the O-rings and it just bleeds out the side and you got to wipe it down. With this, you just fill right down the center. I like that. Better option, I think. Um, real quick, uh, there's been a lot of posts that I've seen on the vape team this week in the vape team Facebook group uh, talking about these new uh, batteries, the Samsung is it Samsung batteries, the twenty one seven hundreds. Yeah, they're on IMR right now. I think they're called the forty eight G. Maybe I'm not sure, but the forty eight hundred ma nine amp batteries. Nine amp. Do not, and I repeat, do not purchase those for vaping unless you vape you like have. fourteen watts. Yeah, if you got a 2700 mod and you vape only at like 14 watts, then it's fine. But uh, other than that, do not use those batteries. But please, if you're going to see deals on batteries, always read the fine print. Not that the fine print – what I like to do is I like to check the battery that's for sale if somebody sends a link, read all the fine print, and then I like to go over to Mooch's information and check to see if he's reviewed it. I will not use a battery unless Mooch uh, does testing on it first. I almost jumped the gun too because I thought they were the – the Samsungs that Mooch was talking about, I actually put uh, fifth, uh, 16 batteries in my cart. Yeah. I was going to buy them. And then I was like, I almost went to buy them. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. 4,800? No, it's, I don't think it's 48. So I went back to read the stats again. And I realized there was only nine amps, whatever it was. I was like, oh, shit. And then I had people buying them, actually, and emailing me and telling me, you know, I just bought the new Samsungs. I'm like, no, get your money back. <laughs> no good. Speaking of uh, batteries, we learned Sunday night that uh, Brian likes to use rusty batteries. You want to talk about that, Brian? Yeah, I would like to talk about that. How do you get rust on your batteries? I'll tell you how. So you become a homeowner, which I am. And uh, when you have when you have a home and you have a sump pump, but then you have a driveway that needs repair and you're too lazy to pay someone or too cheap to pay somebody – the basement floods and when it floods when you're not home and the sump pump gets overwhelmed water pours into the basement and when you have a room full of shit and you throw things on the floor from time to time water invades your batteries and fucking ruins them so since you decided to be a dickhead and buy every single red sanyo a battery on planet earth and try to resell them uh you deserve the karma of getting those batteries flooded which happened and now they're rusted thank you thank you did i expose myself enough mark Yes, you did. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, somebody donated twelve dollars, and they said uh, something about beef. I don't know if they're talking about your ass or yeah. Greg Schultz. By the way, anybody that wants to bring up anything that has to do with anybody other than the vape team, uh, not going to happen in this fucking bitch because uh, that's not what we're about. So there you go. Enjoy the chat. You tell them. You tell them. And if you start talking shit in chat, you're going to be banned from chatting. You can watch the show and jerk off or whatever you do when you watch the show, but you're not going to be able to chat and jerk off. You can only talk shit about Brian. Anybody else, you're out. Yes. (laughs) That's true. And going back to batteries, uh, if you're unsure about batteries, whatever, uh, Google, look up Battery Mooch. He's actually in the chat right now. Look him up and read his reviews. All of his batteries that he does. He reviews batteries. Actually, Mooch, if you want to put a link to where your reviews are in chat, we'd love that. Yeah. I don't think he could put a link. Uh, Greg maybe has a link to do it. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, battery. Remo- 
he was on uh, ST show uh, this morning. We're talking about batteries. All right, so there's. <laughs> Can I talk about what happened at the restaurant? Yeah, go ahead. Do you mind? Will that take us away from vaping? Uh, wait, what happened in the restaurant? At Big, oh. at Big Pink. Oh, wait a minute. With the bathroom? Yeah. Oh, you you love embarrassing yourself. Well, yes. I think I think people that might be fecally challenged, such as myself, uh, might need to feel like they're accepted, and I'd like to share. I haven't heard this story, so I'm. Excited. This is a, there's a first time for everything. All right, this is a, everybody's going to hear a nice Miami story by Brian. Yes. Take so we went to a restaurant called Big Pink, and it sounds like a Big Pink dildo or Big Pink pussy or Big Pink balls or I don't know, but it's called the Big Pink. And we found this restaurant actually because Mark found it, and I don't know why he was into the Big Pink, but he was last year in Miami. Best food ever. So in honor of Mark, we decided that we were going to head over to the Big Pink, and we got a table, and it was me, uh, Mike, uh, Mike's cousin, Wendy Vapes, Zofi Vapes, Tony B, um, the Boxer Brothers, uh, Phenom. Phenom Vapes, uh, and Can Alex. We, Alex from Canada. Yeah. From Canada. So we're all chilling, and I had the nachos we shared them it was like table nachos and i decided to eat up these nachos and stuff and uh my st my stomach can get upset especially because i usually eat like pretty healthy when i'm at home and when i go on trips i usually go fucking crazy and i'll start eating fried food and ice cream and all the shit i shouldn't eat normally and all of a sudden after the nachos i started eating this like steak salad now remember the night before we had this huge steak dinner that was ridiculous so i'm already pretty packed in as it is and i haven't shat since i got there and there's a difference between I got a shit and I have one of those like like agony inducing stomach cramps. Like when you get the cramp where you got to grab the roll and bend over and it, <laughs> you know that you're in a serious predicament and you better be in your natural environment where you can go to the can peacefully and deal with the sweats and the process of letting that load up. Well, we Ubered to the restaurant and it's a storm there's a storm outside and it's packed in there, right? So I get the second pain, and I know that I'm going to shit within 30 seconds. <laughs> so <laughs> and meanwhile, the whole table is talking to me, like Alex is talking to me. And you know when you have to shit and you're in utter pain and you just can't even listen to people? It's like having a migraine but for your ass. Uh, I decided to, to head to the bathroom. And I look down the hallway, and I'm like, oh, my fucking God, there's two dudes waiting for the can. And I don't have time to wait. So I'm looking outside. I'm wondering if there's a graveyard nearby or maybe I could go behind the building or whatever. I'm going to blow whether I go in the bathroom or not. So all of a sudden, two girls come out of the girls' bathroom, and I'm like, fuck it. So I just like make a right and head into the girls' bathroom. The problem is, is these are single toilet bathrooms. These aren't like big washrooms. This is like sink, shitter, hallway, two dudes, girls waiting, me in the, in the ladies' room. And I just explode the fucking bowl. Like, I fucking, I splatter paint the bowl. It's obnoxious. It's loud. It's painful. Uh, I'm sweating profusely. Like, I'm just, sweat is running down my face. I feel safe, so I decide to wash up. And as I'm sitting there, the, the door's shaking multiple times. So that means there's multiple people waiting outside in the hallway waiting Women. for me. Women. Women. Because I'm in the ladies' room. So needless to say, I did that, and then uh, I made my escape. I opened the door quickly. The girl looked into my eyes, knew that I did what I did, but she wasn't processing all of it. Like, she knew that I had invaded her safety, but I didn't give her long enough to, like, bring me into any conversation. So I just jetted to the table, and I was still very uncomfortable. Uh, I, I started having these same stomach pains outside again, but luckily we got in the Uber and made it back to the hotel, and I spent a few hours on the toilet. Uh... But yeah, so that happened. <laughs> that was that's really smart because whenever I have a an episode like that where I have to shit in public, I always use the women's restroom just because it's cleaner. I don't care if there's women waiting outside. I don't care if there's a chick in the bathroom. I'll go in the bathroom and shit. It was I told, me first. I would have told those dudes, "I'm cutting in front of you guys, or else I'm gonna shit on both of you." <laughs> I was having trouble getting words out. I was in so much pain. Like there was a, a serious. Uh, uh, devil inside my colon and it needed to get out so it's yeah. like you had an undercooked steak or something 
You see, the diapers would have came in useful. Yeah, yeah. it would have. Yeah. I always have like stomach problems when I'm away. Um, <clears throat> I think a lot of it's anxiety. Like I get anxious when I'm on an airplane, when I'm around large groups of people. I have trouble like processing all the stimulation outside of myself. And I think it goes to my gut. But uh, yeah, I knocked into a guy at the bar and he almost fought me on the way to the bathroom because I wasn't paying attention to my surroundings. And meanwhile, everybody at the table didn't even know what was happening. They just said, you don't look good. Yeah. Because I was looking in a bad way. But, yeah. Yep, yep. So anyway, anyway, uh, it looks like uh, Bogan's out in the chat. So what's up, you fucking dickhead? Hey, Bogan. And Sam is going to be on this, this show, this fucking show, the vape team. He's going to be on here in two weeks from tonight. Are we going to announce who's going to be on next week? Yes, we are going to announce. Next week on the show, somebody that was supposed to be on the show in early July, but he had to go to Austria on vacation, the vaping biker. Yep. So next week, vaping biker. The week after, vaping bogan. So Mark is going to sit quietly and get uncomfortable and say inappropriate things. Mike is going to be overjoyed from having guests, and uh, I'll be prepared. So it's going to be always, awesome. Are you looking forward to it, Mark? I'm always looking forward to it. I'm excited. Uh, no opinion, Joseph. Sorry. Isn't the, la the last time we had a guest, you had like a panic attack and you didn't say anything during the whole show? Right? Wasn't Big Lou on or yeah, something? Yeah, Big Lou was on, but if you remember why. Yeah, he was. He had mic problems and his eyes were on a chat, looking at everybody trolling him, saying they can't hear him. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good show. That was a good show. He Mike held it down pretty good. Yep. So, did you get any uh, new toys? Anybody got new toys they want to talk about? From the show or this week? A show or no show, maybe uh, vape mail, whatever. That's Anything interesting? Show and tell time. Show and tell, yeah. I got this that I'm pretty excited about. I just started using it. Boom, oh, wrong camera. I just started using it today. The touchscreen Sharon. It looks pretty cool. I love the uh, the screen on this thing. is fucking beautiful looking. Yeah. There's a little oh, that's the real screen? That's not a picture? Yeah, that's the real screen. Oh, shut the Every fuck vibrant. up. Yeah. They have a little button right here to shut the screen off. Like, just bam, bam. Yeah, this thing is so far oh, really nice. That's the smoke device, that, that too, right? Yeah. How's that fire button feel? It looks like it feels great. Feels good. Like, I've only had it using it for, like, a few hours, so I really can't say much about it. But Where's the battery door? The battery door is the back panel. I love that, too. Is that a rubber, uh, what do you call it, fire button? Uh, no, it's like plastic. Okay. Looks like a car tire. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's like plastic, but so yeah. far, fits 25 millimeters beautifully. Feels solid. It I looks just... pretty rounded, too, like beveled edges and stuff. Yeah, it's got some girth to it. You like girth? I love girth. You're inviting for girth. Screen is beautiful, and like I said, that's kind of irritating. But you could just turn it off with the little button. Can you lock the screen while and have it stay on? Yeah, you can do that. Lock it, and then you can't do nothing. How do you unlock? One, two, three. Or you can just use this right here. If there's only one thing I would recommend for these devices, it would be really cool if you had that big, beautiful screen. But if there were just two tactile buttons below the screen, on the face. So if you wanted to use it with manual tactile switches, you could. One, two, three. There we go. But that's not a deal killer, though. It looks beautiful, though. It looks absolutely stunning. This motherfucker's still alive. I'm having technical difficulties. You probably have a lot of fucking lubrication on your fingers from before the show, so. That might be what it is. Yeah. I miss you too, Felix Vapes. Oh, I didn't even mention fucking Felix at the table. Yeah, Felix at the table. Felix too. was sitting right next to me the whole table. Felix. How could I forget you, my love? Hell yeah, Wepa, baby. Motherfucking Felix. He was actually involved more with the shit than, than anybody. I was telling him the whole time. Nice. What about you, Brian? Did you get anything uh, interesting at the event? Uh, at the event, what did I get? I, I did get uh, some CBD gummies. Oh, yeah. CBD gummies uh, to help with that anxiety for my plane flight home. And they work, don't they? I can tell you this. If you have anxiety, um, yep. the CBD really lowers the noise in your head and makes everything more focused. Um, 
but zero highness. If anything, if you take too much, you get tired, but it doesn't give you any euphoria or anything like that. It just makes you feel more relaxed, uh, which was really cool. Well, um, let's give a shout out to Raul. You met Raul Zalvadar? Dude, Raul. Raul, my man Raul. Much love to Raul. Zaldivar, sorry. It was also cool to hang out with Zofi Vapes uh, in the flesh. Like, actually, we went out to uh, a couple places with Zofi all weekend. We were talking to her, shooting yeah. shit, talking about reviewing, talking about life and what she's doing. And it was really fun. Is she like a party animal in person or no? Or is she really like, calm or what? She, uh, she is very focused. Dude. Dude, she's Brian. She's the female version of Brian. <laughs> that would be awesome. Dude, out. watching her, now I, I have empathy for you guys with what you have to deal with with me. Yeah. Dude, she just, like, had her bag. She had people around her talking. You see, she puts a bag on the floor. She's got mods everywhere and stuff. Like a total disaster. And I'm sitting there staring at her. I look up. I look at Brian. I look back. I'm like, Dude, that's you, man. She's like, I know. <laughs> Dude, it's she really is very much like me in a lot of ways. Yep. What did I find? I found a picture that I was thinking about this week. Hold on. Uh, this is when I go to show you something from my phone, but it's not clear enough to read and nobody gets it. So just hold on one second. Do, 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 do. Here it is. I got it. <laughs> it's called Namaskre. What? Instead of Namaste. Namaskre. It's when the crazy in me recognizes... And honors the crazy in you. So I had like a namaskre moment with Zofi Vapes because I can see the I can see the um, creativity and I see everything she does and I know she's capable, but I can see the struggle that she has uh, because the struggle is real, you know. Mm -hmm. She 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 deals with things that way, but yeah. Uh, right. Tony B as always was a fucking gem to hang oh, out. Oh, did we even mention him? He was with us too at the table. Yeah, Tony B is probably one of the most chill, real, down-to-earth, open, honest, connectable people, period. I mean, he's just oh, such yeah. a fucking awesome dude. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, someone in the chat just asked uh, if we saw the iDroid mechanical mod. Yes. Saw the iDroid mech. It's a 2700 mech, gold, and it's small, and it's gorgeous. The button is real nice on the fire button. And we also saw... Uh, the 21700 device they're coming out with. It looks like the AL85 from Smoke. You know, it looks like that. Same look. Uh, but it's a 100 watt device and 21700 battery. I think most likely it's going to come with the battery too. So yeah, pretty cool. We also saw new uh, devices from uh, Sense. Their new. Uh, Color screen mods, right? We spent a lot of time playing with that. They have two color screen mods. One of them is a dual... 2700. Dual 2700, and one of them is a dual 18650. Yep. And the cool thing is, is that they still have a few weeks until it hits the streets, and I can tell you definitely with by first touch, it's a hell of a huge step up from the previous uh, Sense hardware that they put out with vaping yep. devices, regulated vaping mods. Um, and we were also able to touch it and talk to Michael from Sense and give him, Mike was giving feedback, I was giving feedback, we were talking about um, things we would like to see differently, and there's still time. So if they can nail the things we talked about, it's a really nice mod. Yeah. So we'll see how it turns out, but I was pretty pretty happy with it. Yep. Um, hardware, what else? What did you, uh, any, I Pur know you got purge uh mods. You got you got purge mod? I didn't. I did not get purge mods, but I got to feel the purge mods and see the yeah. purge mods, and uh, yeah. they're impressive, man. Yeah. Uh, how about that RDA you vaping? Yeah. The Rapture. The Rapture. What are your thoughts so far? Well, I can tell you that um, I bought it. Besides the fact that Ronnie loves it, uh, which I respect Ronnie's opinion, I bought it because Tom Howard bought one of them. And he was sitting at the table vaping it, and I took a pull, and as soon as I took a pull, I said, I got to get it. Because it vapes fucking awesome. Yeah. It looks awesome. I love this sort of stepped uh, top cap here, how it has like this little steps, like almost like a pyramid type of thing. Uh -huh. um, I think the design on it is gorgeous. I love the finish. And it's just got great flavor. It performs great. It's not it's perfect. Not perfect. 
Right. But I really enjoy what, it. What do you prefer, the bottom or the side airflow? Because you can't use both at the same time. You have to choose which one you want. Yeah, I, I think you can use them both at the same time, actually. Yeah? But yeah. The, the, it, I took a look at the top cap when I pulled it off and looked at the spacing uh, distance from yeah. the side piece. And actually what happens is, is that the airflow, if you block the, if you put it on the side only where it's yep. blocked and you think it's yep. blocked and you hold the bottom closed and you take a pull, it still lets air in. So what the air is doing is it's hitting the shield and then fanning out along the outside uh -huh. to go past the coil. Well, yeah, it'll give you that extra air if you want, but uh, I think it's not going to really do anything for flavor. It's just adding more air. I prefer side only. Yeah. Direct side, boom. That's my favorite. Yep. yep. That's the way, like, I mean, it's it's sort of basically a different build deck, but it's sort of like the Apocalypse. Yeah. You know, it's got that same opening for the airflow. I'm not sure if it's, uh, I'm going to really look to see, is it smaller or bigger? It's bigger. The opening on this, on the Rapture, on the, is much bigger than, it's a huge opening. I mean, that's a big hole. Yeah, it's a big hole. Surprisingly, though, with it wide open, it still hits really good. Yeah. It hits really good. Um, a lot of people have been saying, because I think if you have the bottom by itself, there's a little bit of turbulence in there. But if you open up the side a tiny bit, I think it gives you a little bit of a leak, so it smooths out the bottom. Yeah. A lot of people have been saying they enjoy that. I prefer the side on it, not the bottom at all. But the thing with that is, is that if you're over dripping, those airflow openings are going to fill up with liquid. It won't leak on you, but as soon as you take that top cap off, you're going to have liquids going to start coming out of those side airflows. The bottom yeah. airflows. So, Didn't Ronnie say they're going to have, like, he's coming out with plugs or something like that for I asked. I asked them. They said no. They never, they're like, where'd you hear that? I'm like, Ronnie said that. And uh, he looked at me like, oh, you're maybe trouble. I just heard. I don't know. It was impressive enough for me, and I have a lot of RDAs that I love. It was impressive enough for me to say, hey, this is worth my money. I'm going to buy it. So that uh, says a lot. The ones he was uh, had at the event does, do not come with the swanking pin, but they will be adding a swanking pin. But I think it's going to be a separate purchase, which kind of don't like that. I don't like that either. You know, even the Apocalypse. I got I got a swanking pin for the Apocalypse, which I'm using now. And uh, it's working great, but... Uh, they don't come with the RDAs. I guess it's separate purchase. Yeah. Yeah, did either of you guys get the Anakin Thermo? Nope. No. I saw, uh, I think, what was it, Grim Green? Is it out yet? He had it today on his show. Hmm. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't think they're sending it to everybody. I'm surprised they didn't message me about it or nothing. Whatever. Maybe it's been a staggered launch. Yeah, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Just looking at it, it's, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Yep. Uh, yeah, but I've been enjoying this this uh, setup right here. This yeah, nice. that was another thing that I was very pleased with when I when uh, t Tony had one and you had one, and I was playing with both of them during the show. Mm -hmm. It feels solid. It's real solid, but uh, it's got a. For me, I don't like the adjusting the 510 on here. You need to have fucking tools with you and get in there to adjust the 510. I mean, not no screwdrivers. You need actually you need one of these. Basically, this is what you use to adjust the 510. Yeah, that's not right. Uh, so yeah, I kind of that's like a for me a big con because there's other squonkers out there. Yeah, spring loaded 510 on here. That's what I prefer. I don't want to mess around with that shit. But a uh, feel of the mod, at first I thought, oh, Dalrin, it's going to feel cheap. <laughs> oh, no. this got, I'm sure there's people in the chat that have this uh, mechanical mod. If you do, put your thoughts in there. It's got a great feeling. The door is sick. The magnets on here are just beautiful. Perfect fit. Feels it great. Sits perfect. Everything. The firing uh, button is awesome. Fire button is nice. The fire button, you do have to press it a little bit hard because the contact, they actually cut it out, the shape. Like a, like almost like a half moon shape to make full contact, but I have a but for me I would have uh, left a little bit more meat on there so this way it's not such a hard press in but it's not bad uh, very clean it's, it's nice uh, the only thing that I've been hearing that worries me is that uh, 
the part where the tube goes in into the for the feeding. Yeah. They silver they that all of that is silver plated. So I'm not sure if the inside of it is also silver plated. There's people saying that that's no good if it's silver plated on the inside because the juice will degradate. Yeah, that's what I heard. So I'm not sure if it is or if it isn't. How they if silver plated? Did they cover it? Did they dip it in silver plating? I'm not sure. I, I need to ask and find out on that. But uh, it's a pretty dope mud. There's one thing I've noticed that the reason you got to push this in so hard is when you push it, you'll notice the contact kind of moves. And if there was some support behind here. Uh, Mark, the reason why it's moving, you see that nut right on top? It's loose. It's Tighten it. Loose? No, no, no. Right under it. The other nut. This nut? Oh, yes. Which one? Very that one. Yeah, it's, I think it's loose. Mine don't move. Yeah, because mine's been moving. Uh, maybe I have to tighten it. Yeah. I just noticed that it kind of pushes okay. it over sometimes. Look, look, look at mine. I don't know if you want to look at the screen. Yeah, yeah. Here it is tight, a little bit tighter. You see mine? Look. I'll try tightening it. See? It's basically because they made that shape, like a half moon shape. Mm -hmm. But you can see it better on marks. You can see it right there. Yeah. That cut out, if it was just maybe a little bit more meat in there, then the, it wouldn't be such a hard press in there. It's not bad. It's just something just stated. We're stating yeah. about it. But I don't like that because of the adjusting. Yeah, you got to use a tool to adjust it. Uh, I'd like to thank Yankee Cantrell for the $5 donation for diapers. So the diaper fun is in full effect. I'd like to thank you for that. What do you think of that mod, uh, Mark? This one's not bad, but I thought it was going to be a little bit cheaper. I think they said around 150 bucks because it's stab wood. Who's it's that not, from? Um, it's from these guys. China. Yeah, they contacted me for the Keel mod. Yeah, it's a real nice mod. It, they did something I've never seen before. There's like an O-ring on the 510 connection right here. Yes. That way, when you screw down your atomizer, it's like a perfect seal. So that way... That's cool. You know? You don't have liquid escaping. For when you're yeah. squonking, yeah. Does it cause it to be, have a gap? No, because it, it pushes it down. Yeah. It's flush. But, yeah, it's not... Actually, it's not a bad mod. It's pretty nice. Yeah. I think the am I, the only thing I wish they would have done a little different was the fire button. If it wasn't protruding out so much... Yeah, it does stick out quite it's a bit. It's pocket-friendly. Is, it, is it lockable? No, it's not. Do you guys no. think that's a deal killer, having a lockable versus non-lockable button? It's something like this, probably, yeah, because it sticks yeah. out so far. But like the Armageddon, it, it's so it, it's so low profile and it's so hard to press that I don't even see a need for a lock on that one. Yeah, you're good with the Armageddon in your pocket, but if you have it like in your front pocket and you sit down... The only thing I worry about is, if your, let's say, your wallet or something is in there, and it's a, by you sitting down, you're creating that pressure. You might get it to press. <laughs> I've been known to pocket fire my vapes. I know. <laughs> I've gotten stung by bees. Remember when we were at the at Cracker Barrel, and I had the DNA 40 auto firing in my pocket? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It smells like an insulation electrical fire in my pocket whenever I'm around people. Funny part is I remember what mod I had too. I had the eight cigar DNA two hundred when it came out. I had that mod with me. Tank, I don't remember what was on it, but I remember having that mod. It was new build time for me. That was at the convention, right? We went to what was it? Was it the Central PA convention or something? Yeah, it was the one that was in it wasn't Carlisle. It was the one that was in that gym. The gymnasium, wasn't it? Oh that one, yeah. Jesus. Yep. Uh, speaking of squawk, let me show. You. Speaking of squawker, Sid's in chat. He'd like to talk about his Yi Long dilemma. Sid, listen. <laughs> the Ram is not a mechanical mod. There's a wire in there. There's solder in there. It's an unregulated mod. It's anyway, not... let me show you guys some toys I got. Yes, show us, Mike. I got me a new squawk bottle. Look at this one. It's ooh, ooh, square. square soft. Yeah, I actually put it inside here. Mm. I had it in here, and it actually fit perfect inside this squonker. So mm. try and I'm going to investigate and see how it fits on everything else. But uh, you get more, basically more MLs because of it being squared and not rounded. And 
it should fit in everything basically yeah but i gotta but before i i, I don't want to say it fits in everything i gotta confirm what it fits and what it doesn't fit from stuff i have but i got this uh what else did i get i got a couple of more of these sjmy ones the clear ones i don't know why I'm, I'm, i've been just going crazy just buying bottles nuts and i just got these in i had ordered these from um they're from a company called D Mods, D E E Mods. These squonk bottles, and these are have no threading. Basically, the top of it, it's goes in. Uh, it's press fit with O rings, so there's no one screwing on this one. Let me get it out of here. And I got it, and it's in black. Uh, we just got another donation of five dollars, uh, also from Yankee Cantrell, to make up for the bathroom repair charge from Miami. So thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of support tonight. Take it away, Mike Vapes. Mm-hmm. 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 There's a lot this of people out there calling for more skin from Mark tonight. This one's, like, defective or something. What the fuck? Mark, I don't know. The bottle's crooked. Yeah. Oh, I paid fucking... I don't know what I paid for this one. Anyway, fuck that one. Uh, Sid this. and Sid. So is, is there a golden rule somewhere in the vape rule book that if it has two or more wires, it's unregulated? Now, if it only has one wire, it's considered mechanical? Sid, we'll talk after the show. I'm sure Sid will give you many paragraphs of feedback on that. Basically, this piece here. Right now, because there's no liquid, it's a little tight. You have to, it's got to be lubed up. Hoping. But uh, this is supposed to pop off. I'm not sure if I'm really liking this idea. You mean the the press fit snap in? It's not even snap. It's got like O rings, like almost like a drip tip. Oh. That you'd fill, and then this would go in. It would slide in, yeah. You just press it down. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I'm sure when it's a little liquid, just like with drip tips, it'll be easier to go in and out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I got these the black ones here, but uh, this one here I got to mess around with. This one, look at it, it's like crooked on there. Mm-hmm. Got to mess around with that. Pop it right off. Quick shout out to Niji. A little shout out to Jeff Young. Tom Klasky. A little shout out to you, brother. That's all. Uh, what else do we got? Let's see. Well, I got lots of uh, bottles. Oh, I fixed it. It's even now. Uh, oh, I got this juice. This shit was banging, but it messed my coils up. Something fierce. The uh, dead man's hand. <laughs> this juice was so delicious. I went through pretty much two 60s and half a 60. So ridiculously good. But at the same time, I checked my cotton on my Reload RTA. And, did you uh, redo it? A lot of sweetener. Did you redo it? Yeah, I did. Okay. It was horrific, wasn't it, Mike? Yeah. Uh, you've you, never seen something like that. You know oh, those like, meme pictures where, it's, uh, where it says like fresh build, yo, and it's like yes. fucking pitch black. It looks like sludge and oil. Mm -hmm. That's what it looked like, and it was only five days. Yeah. So lots of sweetener. Tasty as fuck, but tons of sweetener. Yep. Uh, we also got a chance to hang out with Brad from Brad's Vapor. Yeah. Brad was chilling in Miami, and a mm -hmm. uh, big shout out to you, Brad. Brad Kane from bradsvapor.com. Who's been, uh, you know, involved with our show for some time now? And speaking of Brad, we actually have giveaways to do tonight, and it's ten fifty-five, and I don't want to fuck around. We're we're also doing a giveaway for a one hundred dollar gift card. Hit that juice dot com, and it's uh, from Vaping Trucker. Is it a chat giveaway or a replay giveaway? It's gonna be a. You know what? That's a good question. I think we're, we're gonna do a chat giveaway for the hundred dollar gift card. Nice. And uh, to be eligible for the chat giveaway, you have to be only for residents in the United States. Sorry, but uh, yeah, only residents in the United States. Mark. By the way, uh, I'd like to give a special vape team congratulations and much love to Jason Bud, Mr. and Mrs. Jason Bud, newly happily married couple. We wish you guys nothing but love and happiness and support for one another. Yes. I hope you're happier than Mark. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to be happy, but the blowjobs are going to be cut off, so you might as well get them while you can. That's why you go to your good good male friends, right, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Mark's got a tender mouth. <laughs> I'm only speaking the truth. You're I do wish you luck. a cock taste on your breath. Yep. But if there's one thing that I've done more 
After I got married, it's masturbating. Oh, I thought you were going to say the other, but anyway. So <laughs> last week, Mark is going to jump in right now because, yeah, it's that time. It's that time. What do we, uh, so we want to do, uh, what do you want to do first? A chat giveaway or do you want to announce last week's winner? Why don't we do chat giveaway first? We will, uh, do a little chat giveaway for hitthatjuice.com gift card. Yep. And uh, if we announce your name, when uh, when Mark announces your name, just confirm in a chat that uh, you are you live in the United States. Yep, for a hundred bucks, and you can get all kinds of stuff on Hit That Juice. You can get juice, you can get coils, you can get drip tips, mm -hmm. you can get love. Anything is pretty much for sale on Hit That yeah, Juice. This, actually, this drip tip here has been hot on the website. Right now it's just sitting weird, but anyway, this one here, the frosted uh, A10 drip tip. Have I told you that I love frosted drip tips, Mike? Lambskin, lambskin, uh, lambskin condoms, it's also. Beautiful. Yep. I like to use a nice pork casing. And what was last week's uh, giveaway from last? No, oh, the week before, not last week. The week before was Country Clouds Premium E Liquid from Brad'sVapor.com. And we're giving away three bottles, cornbread, lemon, and chocolate. So it's cornbread pudding, lemon pudding, and chocolate pudding. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, Mark, let's do the chat giveaway. Let's do it, Mark. All right, here we go. The winner for the $100 gift card is going to be do, 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 do. <laughs> Tom Klasky. Woo! L-A-S-K-Y. Tom Klasky. Congratulations. You SOB. Yep, Tom Klasky confirmed that you live in the States in the chat. And the winner from last week's show is going to be. Do they have to say anything? I want you to say. Doo, 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 doo. Read the comment first. Okay. Doo, 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 doo. Hold on, let me read it to myself. Yep, okay, here we go. Matt Stika, S T Y K A. Stika, Stika, he said, give me your pudding bread. Great show, guy. He said, great show, guy. Wow. Only one of us did a good job. Well, since he's talking about giving pudding from Brad, it's probably referring to you, Mark. Oh, good. Yes. Congratulations, Matt Stika. All right, Matt Stika, you need to contact me on the Vapor Chronicles in, uh, Facebook Messenger with your name, your address, and your email address, name, address, email address, and a copy of a picture of your ID. You need to be adult vaping age and send me that information. That's all I need from you. I'll forward it to Brad. Brad will send out the juice for you. The winner uh, of the trucking giveaway, Mike? Yes, Tom Klasky lives in Chicago. Holy shit. Yes, so uh, Tom, uh, send me a message on uh, Facebook. Facebook me. All right, and I'll tell you uh, how to get in contact with uh, how to get your $100 gift card. There you go, Michael. Contact him. Yep. Now, this week's giveaway, which will be for next week, is fucking awesome. And I, I actually, this is actually something that I really have been looking at myself. Uh, this hold is. On. Oh, hold on. You, right. said, you said pay it forward. Who said that? Tom Klasky did. Okay, so the hundred dollar gift card from Tom Klasky. He wants to pay it forward. I'll take it. Damn, I'll Just take it. Give it to me. So um, another chat giveaway. Let's go back to there. Go ahead. We'll re-randomize just to make it fair. All right, here we go. There is Andy Lester, L E S T E R. Andy Lester, congratulations! You, yes. Andy Lester, confirm in the chat that you live in the United States. There you go. Alex, I have not seen the Stabwood Battle Star, but that sounds pretty damn sweet. Pretty damn sweet. Mm. Mm, do we have a giveaway tonight for everyone? Mm. Do you want to see what we have to give tonight, Mark? I want to see what you're giving. Do you want to see it before you feel it, or do you want to feel it first and then see it? I'd rather just feel it. Just surprise me. We could play, like, what's in my pouch. What's in my mouth? Yeah. Just <laughs> Want to play that game, big boy? Let's not play that game. All right. Uh, you, <laughs> so just to give you guys a little heads up, Angela, Amy, myself, 
and whoever else wants to go, we're still discussing the trip. We're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna oh, be, God. we're gonna go ahead, Mike. Uh, Andy Lester, uh, he actually met us in Miami. There you go. That's what he just said in the chat. So Andy, uh, message me on Facebook. Congrats, brother. Congrats. Sorry, Brian. It's okay. So let's just say this. I'm going to have some awesome fucking real world non-vape related slash vape related footage from a family fucking vacation that's going to put the Clark Griswold crew to shame. That's all I'm saying. It's going to be a real bad idea. It's going to be an awesome idea. We're touring a plantation. (laughs) We're touring the bayou and looking at alligators. Yeah, so this is coming soon, probably in October. I'm going to be touring with the bedroom. You're going to be touring with your fucking good attitude because I'll tell you what, Amy's not having it. (laughs) I'll lock my door. (laughs) Best behavior. I'll come in and get you. I'll come in like a woodsman with a fucking bib on and like some overalls and and a fucking whatever. Here we go. Check this out. This is what we're giving away next week on the show. What the? Nice. That's the new Nikkor charger. This is the new Nikkor charger from bradsvapor.com. He actually got them in stock today if you're interested in picking this up. This thing is so badass. Look that at the look at the bays on that bitch. Yeah. Well, I, I love that charger a lot. Yep. It's fucking gorgeous. Yep. Oh, man. Nice. But yep. only one big butt with it. It was Nikkor. Oh, man. It don't fit 2700s. It doesn't? No. Ugh. Yeah, it's the only thing that sucks. It's just an awesome looking charger. But people that don't you care about that, 18650s, it's a beautiful charger. Well, there you go. The wind just went out of my sail. Yeah. Move over. I almost bought it. Dragon Yep. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, bradsvapor.com if you use 18650s and uh looks like a pretty badass charger. And maybe they'll do a revision in the future. We don't even know. Yeah. Well, but, they'll come out. Um <clears throat> I'm sure these companies are going to be working on making all their uh the chargers compatible with the batteries. I'm thinking really hard and long. <laughs> hard and long on the the fr- the phrase for next week. Whatever phrase we come up with that's long and hard i got it brad always charges me up brad always charges me up michael samios you have hit the fucking nail we got it you've pounded it right into the wood yes brad always charges me up that's what you got to put in the comments on when the show re-uploads not in the live chat on the replay on the replay do you guys know that the vape team is no longer monetized i know everyone knows that the vape shit's not monetized but the vape team got hit also so, unbelievable! Un- it's not fucking believable. It's not just vape channels. We found out. it's every YouTube, every channel. Yep. Do we not deserve fucking advertising? Apparently not. I'm gonna get triggered. We're gonna do our own advertising. I'm gonna start running fucking porno ads at the bottom of my videos. I mean, we might as well whip our dicks out. No, Mark, I've already, go ahead. I've already contacted Pornhub. Is gonna take an advertisement slot for the show. So, and Chatterbait. Yeah. Yep. We we'll advertise them for penis enlargement pills, <laughs> breast surgery, all kinds of shit. Male lactation pills for the guy that just wants to have somebody suck milk out of his titty. If YouTube ain't going to do it, I'm going to do it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Man that give birth to eggs online. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take out Angelo's, that. Angelo Sor says it fits 2700. So that charger that. Brian showed fits 2700s. Ooh. Wait, do we need to have a, a fix? I don't know. Unless they didn't see what you showed up and they think regular Nightcore. Let me show what's it again the, and we'll get some what's clarity. The, name of the, charger, the Nightcore what? It is the Nightcore vertical. It looks like an 8 bay with some air venting. It's vertical. I'll tell you right now. I mean, just looking at it, those are 18650s and they have no space. So how does that 2700? Dude, looking at pictures on my phone is like watching porno from Japan. Everything's blurred out. Why won't that shit fucking focus now? I don't know. There we go. That's not the name of it, Brian. Michael Vapos. Oh. Muchos grande. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, Angelo says it fits 2700s. All right, I thought it didn't because just looking at it, I'm 
that's an 18650 and there's no room. Maybe I could be wrong. If it does, it is the best charging station ever. If that fits, if I'm 100%, if I get 100% confirmation, I want to get that charger. Me too. There you go, everybody. So anything else, guys? Any announcements? Anything to speak about that has to do with the community or yourselves personally? Your desires? Fantasies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, No, I just want to thank uh, uh, Vaping Trucker. Yep. For, the, uh, for what he did. Very nice to you, Mr. Trucker. Yep. For the hundred dollar gift card for the chat. Good shit, man. I'd like to thank Battery Mooch for all of his hard work and commitment to keeping us safe. Mm-hmm. I like to thank uh all the people that watch us out of eighteen and support us. Thank you for watching. We really do appreciate you guys. We love you. Yep. And uh Mark gives the best that he has to give week to week. It does 18, 650, 22,500, 22,650, 25,500, 26,500, 26,650. So does that mean it does 2,700? Yeah, see, that's the thing. It doesn't state. That's why. 22,500, 2,700. It's a new charger. You would figure it would say it. Uh, it may not because, well, let's see. The largest it goes up to is a twenty six six fifty. Yeah, yeah, but seven, like this one, which is the uh, the L- Luck V six, that charges twenty seven hundreds. Yeah, so you might be able to uh, it, just it, fit it in. If you it, maybe it fits. You know what? It's a night core, and I know the night the regular charges they do fit. Maybe it fits. You know, I might just get one. Just uh, let me see. If someone just put the stats. I'm. Yeah, but if you look at the regular Nightcore charges or even the the E-Fest ones... It doesn't have the 21700. It listed. doesn't show 2700s at all on there. Oh, wait. I have the answer here. Someone reviewed it on a battery website. There you go. Look at Mark. He's such a fucking internet guy. I'm an internet guy. You're in your element online, Mark. I'll tell you exactly what the reviewer said. He said... You're like the Caitlyn Jenner of the internet. Does it charge compatible with 2700 batteries? I can say that it does. The battery will. Batteries with the red wrapping uh, in the image above are 2700 batteries. However, when inserting a 2700 battery into the Nikkor i8, be careful because it is pretty tight fit. Just be sure uh, not to damage your right. Yeah, as long as you're careful with your wraps, you should be fine. Somebody said they have the Luck V6, and the same goes for that. you got to just push push down nice and hard and then let it snap in, and, and yeah. 2700s will fit. Um, here's one right here. Also, the E-Fest, uh, the other one, the E-Fest the Bluetooth one, 6-bay, that also fits 2700s. You can see it's charged. Yes. Yeah, so the, the red ones fit. It's going to be tight fit. Do I have any other ones? Um let me see if the iJoy ones fit, because I think a lot more people have those. Hmm. Muchos cacos grande. Yeah, they fit. You just got to pop them in. The iJoy ones also fit. Well, yeah, that's what I use. Yeah. All my 2700s fit in there. Yep. 21700 also fits. already tested it. Yeah. So there you go. Battery information, new cool. product information. Twenty is the diameter, correct? Yes. Okay, so twenty-one seven hundred. I would assume correct, right? Yeah, I did twenty-one seven hundred. All right. It's basically one millimeter fatter okay, than yeah. the twenty-seven hundred. What the length is? The twenty-one same. is the t- the beginning part. Like for an eighteen, eighteen is eighteen millimeter. Okay. 650 is uh, basically 60. What happened, Mark? Uh, Brian? I, I was just showing this the fatness versus the length. Yeah. 65 millimeter. That's what it basically for yep. length. I got to get one of those chargers. Those are awesome looking. Yeah, they are. Basically, a 2700 is uh, two millimeters fatter. I mean, I'm sorry, four millimeter. No, two millimeters fatter, uh, five millimeters taller than an 18650. Yeah, somebody asked if anyone has the Nightcore Magnetic Stir, and I do not, but that is something also on my list that looks awesome. What is that? It's a magnetic stir for mixing e-liquid. 
Knowing is half the battle, yo. Yep, it sure is. All right, guys. Well, much love. It's glad we're so happy to be back, and we're going to be back same vape time, same vape channel to watch Mark be uncomfortable because we're setting him up to be. Uh, he's going to be vaping that Smo Ant. Hopefully, have a review soon. And um, yeah, check out each of, each of our channels: Vaping Fagan, Mike Vapes, and The Vapor Chronicles. And yeah, fucking a, not another vape show. How about that? How about not another vape show? You might even get my wife on there, which you did fucking, last week. Fucking A. Fucking A, right? Yeah, we yeah. have more viewers. When Brian's away, we're the wife will play. We're on. Yep. yep. She's, she's definitely more popular than I am on your show. There's no I question about that. So, yeah, we'll see you next week, guys. Much love. Vape and Biker. Check us. Next Bye. week. Bye. Bye. Bye, bitches. <laughs> professional please thank you Now that the 20 minute outro is finished, finished. can you like to talk? Give it to us. Shut up. Do you have anything to say to the people out there for interrupting the 20 minute outro? Hey, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta cut it out with this 20 minute outro.